Welcome up to another W2O3 mod video. Today what we're going to be doing is swapping out the side mirror indicators with these amber orange dynamic ones. They are a very simple design, unlike the ones on the W204, this does not flash two colors, it only flashes one color. And honestly, I think that's all you really need. I mean, the two colors is nice and flashy to a certain extent, but honestly, you don't really need it. And I know that some people prefer just to have the standard look or just the amber orange look. In the end, it really is just a matter of personal preference. I'm not sure if they have other colors for the W203. In this case, this is just an amber orange one. So without getting too much into it, I have already done a video showing you how to remove the side mirror indicator and swap them out and replace place the part if you ever need to so you know be sure to watch that video I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner right now click on that video watch that video if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to remove the indicator from the side mirror cover so let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys exactly how to do this and also what it looks like once it's done for this modification all you're really going to need is a flathead screwdriver maybe a pry tool to help you pry and also I believe it is a T10 or a T5 I'll confirm that later down the track once we get into it the first thing you're going to want to do is bend your mirror all the way back and when you look inside you're going to see a point where there's a little tab what you have to do is pry towards the car so you want to push on the clip so you're pushing it towards the car you have to make sure that it's completely unclipped guys there we go I have it unclipped now now I can just simply take it off you make sure your mirror is lined up and you just pull it straight off okay so now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when you bend this mirror back inside here just here you can see that there is a clip that you pry on and this is the silver tab there as you can see right there usually this sits out like so okay and see how there's a lip here you notice there's a little lip here that's what clips the side mirror in see that point right here that's where that clips to that's why you have to bend it forward and then pry on it until this passes the point like that just like that as you can see then the mirror will slide out and that's it that's really all there is to it now if you're going to remove your mirror for any reason it's very simple as well you have a clip along here all you got to do is pull this out go up out up again and then that loosens and then simply your mirror will come off like so just like that as you can see unplug these two by simply just pulling on them like so and that's it that's how you remove your side mirror this is for your heated mirrors that way it doesn't fog up when it rains in order to replace it all you have to do now is simply line it up okay like so you line it up what you need to do here is basically hook it from the bottom and then you just push it on we'll make sure it all lines up there we go when you put it back in there's grooves where the mirror sits in you just have to line up those grooves everything has a allocated position there shouldn't be any reason for the mirror to be out of place and there we go push it in and then this clip here is what holds it back into place put this back in like so you go over this one here you go under the center one and then you go over the last one that's how your mirror clips back in and that holds your mirror in place and now your mirror won't go anywhere pull it up down left right look at that your mirror safely back in with this removed what we're going to do next is use our phillips head correction it's a phillips head that you need not a torx bit and we need to remove these two screws right here there's just two that's one and is our next okay we'll just remove these two screws like so now in order to remove the indicator let's take out these two screws okay that's one there and we have another screw somewhere hiding here just take that out we'll drop that there there's our two screws we need to remove the indicator 
the indicator is clipped in a certain way. The best way I have found to do this is by simply pushing out here and then you pull on this side. So you push and you pull just like that. And once you get it past this, and once you get it past this point here, you can then just slide it out. That's how you remove your indicator. Now we need to install our dynamic indicator. Remove the plastic from it. We'll remove it. This is the right hand side, which is the driver side in Australia. So you look for the right side with the R. In order to install it, you do it very similar. So you want to put in this side first and then you want to push it in like so until it lines up and clips in pretty much like that. Have a look at it, make sure it's lined up, make sure it's flush. You don't want any gaps, any holes. Once you have that in flush now, all we have to do is reinstall it. Make sure everything's lined up, our mirror, everything. Okay, now we pull that out a little bit, grab our side mirror. We run it in, holding out our cable out here, as you can see. Grab that and just simply plug it in. There we go, as you can see, it's plugged in right now. As we pull it in, we can push it back in where it belongs. It simply just clips back in. Pull it back and push it back in. Now you can always just plug it in like this first and then you bring it around, making sure that it doesn't unplug. And then as you pull it in, you then plug this back in. Now I guess if it really bothers you, you could just leave it unplugged and really it's just the same thing. And then you just push it back on. Just check, make sure that it doesn't come off. And uh, that's it. There you go. Okay, and then once you have it on, just check, make sure it's as flush as possible. And that looks pretty good, guys. So there you have it. I'll just turn on the hazard lights now so you guys can see for yourself what it looks like. Okay. There you go. Dynamic indicators for the W203. Do the same thing to the other side and that completes this modification. Well, there you have it guys, a quick and easy modification you can do to your W203 in order to give it a unique look. I hope you found this video helpful guys and if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. And also, it is almost spring in Australia. I will be able to get outside now and do more videos for you guys. So rest assured, a lot more W203 and W204 videos will be coming very shortly. Another thing, if you've been following me on my community posts, you'll see that I'm going to be introducing a new car to the channel, which will be the 2021 GLE 400D. Now, this is my dad's car, and really it is an amazing feeling to see your dad get his dream car. There really isn't a much better feeling. And, you know, when I introduce that car to the channel, I'll tell you guys the story behind it. It really is a magnificent story i couldn't be happier for my dad he really does deserve that car i'm going to share with you guys the features of that car the amazing things that mercedes offer in a 2021 mercedes-benz so stay tuned for those videos and i'll see you guys in the next one